Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of My DeFi Pet. Today we are talking about lots of news related to the game. So there have been just a few little teaser updates. Um, we're going to be talking about the boss battle, the prize of 200,000 DPET that is up for grabs. Uh, we're going to be talking about the marketplace and some arts for that that uh, they did in a BSC presentation. So most of the information provided on the marketplace side of things, it came from Cat Human. So massive thanks for doing research on this and spotting these and sending them to me to help out. Massive help to, to make these videos. So, and if anybody else finds any details, you know, hidden little bits of information, if you share it, I might use it in a, a video as well. It just helps to get out to the community a bit better, doesn't it? So. What we got, let's start with the Facebook. Um, the, the recent posts on Facebook have been related to the boss battle. So they just posted a, a, an explanation on the winged pupper. Um, how in ancient times, far from the southern lands of my DeFi pet, where world, world where sudden storms arose and washed away everything it passed, a mighty creature was born, a killer in the sky and the ferocious god of storm. So we can see that winged pupper will be a wind type it is some say that it's ancestor of uh, pterosaurs and current flying creatures others say they're not extinct and always appear in dark clouds during storms and now the pet masters have tamed and trained the winged pupper to become a mighty creature to fight against the forces of darkness darkness is rising get ready pet master let's wait for the next chapter so it's been a while since we've had any actual updates in the game and that means it's, it's we're probably getting closer and closer to the boss fight actually coming out the total prize pool for the upcoming boss fight feature in bsc is 200,000 dpet okay it's, it's in bsc is 200,000 see i was thinking maybe it would be 100,000 dpet on the kai side and 100,000 on the binance smart chain side and it would be really horrible if the Cardia chain didn't have a boss fight. So I'll be interested to see how that's going to work. I wonder if there are any comments related to it about how, what about the Cardia side? I find it interesting as well because, like, I mean, I think the CEO is they're also the CEO of Cardia chain. Nobody mentioning anything. Well, they indicated that the price pool is 200k BSC. Do you know the players that join it come about how you compute the total amount of DPET tokens they play? Good question. Um, oh, kindly inboxes. Oh, that's a response to, to Matt Infinity, not to that post. That's a shame. Um, I mean, you got to think this is a 200,000 DPET, which is currently worth 1 million pounds, dollars, sorry. Two, 1 million dollars. So, 1 million dollars spread a cost across all the users if it was equal we'd all probably be looking at about five ten d page because there's probably a ton of players i mean over two three million i think eggs that have been hatched um yes yeah, let's say one what well, every person has three i mean i've got more than I've, I've, there'll be people with a lot more like i have um not sure it, i'm going to be interested to see how the rewards are and how like a good team will actually you know provide a lot more deep at it's gonna two million two hundred one deep at may change if a pet's rare or evolved i think he means that's how much you'd get per pet if your pet is rare or evolved i don't know it'll be interesting to see i'm hoping for good returns uh my expectations for a return on this first boss battle I would like to, to see maybe getting 100 of that DPAT and then the token going to $10. $1,000 would be a great, a great win. Beyond that, if I get less than that, I'd be like, oh, I invested a lot of money into this game. Um, but then it's long term, isn't it? So you're going to see some returns in the future as well. And then they posted the forces of darkness arising, hidden behind the black mist in the ruined villages and the stories of the survivors. The mighty boss has gradually revealed. Pet Masters, you are humanity's last hope. Let's gather and train your pets to prepare for the great battle to come. So we see the, the Hydra there. We got like a little, basically looks like the, the, the hermit crab out of Moana. And I think I've seen some pictures of people post like Crash Bandicoot in the, in the uh, Telegram. I wonder if anybody's done it in Facebook as well. 
<laughs> like they just put it fitting in. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> fits, it, fits it fairly well, doesn't it? Surprise! <laughs> nah, I don't think that's who we're going to get. Group? <laughs> Some things going to be group. What's that? Oh, they've just filled it in with... Oh, that's like a concept. They've filled in the shadow. That'd be quite cool. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's going to be that guy, isn't it? Yeah. It's a dog bow wow. Is what we're going to be expecting to potentially fight in the first one. I mean, we've, all the footage we've seen so far is obviously related to um, the Hydra type boss. There's another video as well somewhere, but it's, it seems to have gone off Facebook. They just showed the the pets actually actually coming in from the left hand side um nothing nothing major which is pretty much similar to that so that's all the stuff on the facebook side of things and then cat sent me a picture of um from the presentation where they did the presentation on the marketplace and talked about how it might work so we see we got this bat that it's winged pupper um and so it'll display a class the owner of the bat it'll display the breed count which is three out of seven which means some pets is is it do they actually have a breed limit i've read a lot on the cardio chain but not a lot on the binance smart chain thankfully so i think obviously you want to want to sell pets with a, a low breed count are going to be worth more so that you can breed them and potentially get outlines or auras at, at better odds uh, it talks about this silver output speed critical attack and hp so you get a look at the stats the body parts you know it tells you the leg glass amulet tail so they've got numbers for allocated for each one i mean this guy doesn't have any body parts anything extra it'll display the skills now these are just concepts because clearly these skills are all the same margaret gift margaret gift and all of them have a pa passive skill. So when the hero is killed, poison all enemies, dealing 55% of attack damage each round. Last three rounds. That's, that's pretty deadly. That's like, throw him in and sacrifice, and he still keeps attacking. I'm really excited for skills, how they're actually going to balance play to make it so that, you know, you've got a fair amount of balance between the pets and abilities, and some. I want to see of some variety in what they do. In the top right, we see the auction information and the buy now price being 400 DPET here, which, I mean, I'd love to sell an outline for 400 DPET because that's $2,000. Um, if, if we go to $10, $4,000. But this is, this is just a concept. Um, I mean, Kat talked talk about rarity and how, you know, we've got so many eggs in there um so many eggs in 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 circulation at the moment and therefore you know that will reduce the demand in in on the marketplace but the demand on the marketplace is really going to be all about having pets with the most body parts having pets that are aura or outline and then thirdly having limited edition pets pre-launch ones that also a low breed count as well factors into that but the limited edition ones will have the cardia chain or um some of the sponsored partners on the wings and you cannot breed them so they are you know one of a kind will never ever see them in circulation again they can only have been purchased by a pre-launch but now we'll be able to sell them on the marketplace and it might just you know knock it up a, a, a fair bit because limited editions do tend to be more popular you know look at charizard first edition way more expensive than charizard um and pokemon trading cards so she said that it looks like they might pattern how axie multiplayer M mp looks but like but marketplace sorry um but the mana is an auction type so you will put a pet up and gradually over time the price will lower so you can wait for it to come down to a low point but you're gonna need everybody to do that so eventually there'll become a point where everybody's like this is a good deal i need to buy it before somebody else gets it and then they'll purchase it which is quite a good way of of adding value to 
to, to finding the value, sorry, of some of the pets in the game. Because people will be really determined by the users who think this pet's going to be helpful. I'm going to pay this much. I would personally hold back on selling anything that you really good on the marketplace until we've got all the mechanics in place for play to earn uh, PVP because it's at those points that you know the ones with the highest stats they're going to become the most worth and they're probably going to sell for a lot more so be patient hold on to your pets just access the play to earn element and wait for the right time where if you're going to sell a pet that you know I could sell all my pets and let's say they did sell for a thousand dollars um for the air or outlines so i've got seven of those seven thousand dollars that might be like an out for you you might be like well actually i'd quite like to you know earn earn my year's salary playing this game and, and quit but you know, i would say hold off hold off probably for maybe even a year because that's when the value i think will be just ridiculously big um, she also provided an infographic on uh, the marketplace. So just detailing it. So as we mentioned, pets can be put on sale auction or siring auction. So higher level pets can be vended. At what level the owner sold is what the buyer will get. This is going to be really interesting because if you think about the... Um, think about some of the battles. I currently have... 6,800 food. So I haven't, 6,800,000 food. I haven't spent any of my food really other than to get people to level 10. And on the Binance Smart Chain, because of offers um, for when the, like the, when the serve went down, I've earned a lot more on the Binance Smart Chain side. And, but using that, the, the probably the amount that I've got in there now will get me one pet to level 20, to max level. Now, if you want to create a full team of level 20s, it might be tactically advantageous to buy one, something that somebody else has put a lot of food into to reduce the cost of you having to do it. Because I think food will be a really, really in-demand resource, one that you're really going to need to get your pets to the strongest levels. So that's a good tactic, I think, to get aware around that, to make sure that you are able to get a, a, you know, a strong team very quickly. Plant some potatoes. Actually, I want to plant tomatoes. <laughs> the cardio chain? Oh, that was the cardio chain. Balance my chain side. Oh, load. Um, so the pros of this are people who are looking for a specific type of pet or skill can easily get them. Pros, people who don't want to farm and level up their pets can save time, which we just talked about. The cons, the price of each pet will definitely be higher than 3D pets a price. Each bid equals a gas fee. Any D pet will be refunded if the bid is unsuccessful. I mean, that's pretty typical for any game um, on the Binance Smart Chain or any other chain for that matter. Um, pros, yeah, I do think the price of, of, D, of D pet will be significantly higher than 3D pet for pets that have full gear um, and uh, ridiculously higher for aura and outline pets being that aura pets drop at around one percent outline about two to three percent personally of what I've, I've experienced out of 700 pets now this puts into question whether, whether it's worth buying the the egg for 3d pet um rng based hatching of eggs system so you have a chance to get rare pets or accessories as random Pros is that you'll get Gen Zero pets from eggs will always be the source of skills that can be inherited from breeding, and it might be cheaper compared to the marketplace. I think it will be cheaper than the marketplace to a certain extent. I think that like, like if I've got a pet that has no gear, I'd happily sell that for one or two D pet. I think that that would be fair to rate. I played paid three for it, so I'd probably say it would be worth one maybe. Um, so you could get a lot of pets. They're very cheap on the marketplace, just ones that aren't very good. And you could use those to build up your silver. Um, the con is, though, that it's random. With RNG, based from the eggs, you've got a really, really low chance now of getting a full gear pet 
let alone a full gear pet with aura or outline. And you know you can't add any of these traits once they're on, they're done. Those are the stats and max that they'll get. So you really want to get a pet that has full gear and an aura outline because that will be way stronger than one without and with a little bit of gear. And even if you get an aura with a little bit of gear, it will mean that breeding will be hard because you, 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 you might not end up with a full pet. Again, full traits. But if you're breeding a pet with full traits or outline with a pet with full traits or outline together, much better. Um, so if we take a look at an example of that, I mean, on the cardio side, I've, I've done a lot of breeding. So you'll see some of my pets, like if we take my auras and the cardio chains are, are really ones that were bought, most of them um, after. So we see this guy is a full, full type generation zero. Chances of mutating offspring. Remember the breed count is a lot higher um a lot a lot more time the more times it's bred so we've got this one and one the highest breed will determine the time so if you just breed a two and a one it'll take the time of of two so you know we've got two hours there and if we go get a it won't average out it's kind of annoying uh we've got a lot of ones here so if you take this two not you two this two it'll go to five minutes what what was the first one is that one minute oh it's two minutes yeah it goes to five minutes so it takes the priority of the higher pet um you can see some of these full gear i've tried breeding together and most of them are now in the hotel They've come out all right i've got some good stuff with, some with full gear like this spike of red so he was um red i believe between two pets with full gear he was fortunate enough to get wings that's his pendant oh no he doesn't have horns does he yeah so still pretty low chances see there i've still got some winged pets and on the banner smart chain side i think i've bred two pets both of them failed work so like this is what you're after I mean this guy is the beast of all beasts he's got the best looking wings cool horn glasses pendant three toed feet and then he's got the elemental aura of snow which is perfect for like the color of him as well like all blue uh, like his stats are going to be, his skills are going to be significantly better and his stats are going to be all very good because of the full gear. And if I breed that with another of the same type, um, so I breed and then with my winged pupper, not that one, I want, I think I want this one. So this one, full gear, environmental, is going to have the best chance of breeding a another aura outline um with full gear Get the little tail there as well so yeah these guys are going to be way more than 3d bet i think on the market okay well that's all for this one hope you guys have enjoyed it hopefully you had a little sneak peek into things that are coming in the future i'd like to think it wouldn't be too long you know by the end of august i think we'll definitely see a uh a change coming to something new it is scheduled i wanted to see the marketplace before then to be honest or staking before then as well i think staking it has been they've been really late to create it and um, it really encouraged people to hold the token but we'll see we'll see what comes next i will keep you up to date of course apart from that it's all for me if you have enjoyed it found it helpful please leave a like on the video always help the channel out hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information that is all for me see you guys soon.